Arctic. Aren't you so excited to play video games? Sometimes I'm so excited to play games that I forget that people even make them. Even here at Rage. Did you know that there are loads of South Africans making really cool video games? And did you know that you could be one of them? Making games takes a lot of patience, skill and discipline. At Rage, there's an indie booth where a lot of South Africans are making some of the raddest games. Let's take a look. So, what's the name of your game? Alright, so this is Among the Innocent, A Stricken Tale. What is this game and how do you play it? Alright, so it's a first-person adventure game. It's set in South Africa in the year 2002. And it's a kind of mix of like old school point and click adventure, like 1990s golden era stuff with some like kind of modern horror elements as well. So this is a game called Stasis. And what's it about? Stasis is a 2D isometric point and click adventure game. So very much in the vein of the old adventure games like The Dig and Monkey Island, but with a much more sort of like mature take on the, on the genre, very much focusing on the horror aspect of uh, the things that I really love about the entire sort of uh, science fiction horror, alien, very event horizon, sunshine, everything that I find cool is basically in the game. And when's it coming out? The Stasis has actually been released already. We released on the 31st of August. You can get the game on Steam, on GOG and on the Mac App Store. So I've been working on Skadonk Showdown for about five months now. Um, it's really sort of my introduction into creating 3D games. I've uh, generally created 2D games in the past. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a challenge to myself to create something fun, simple, and uh, yeah, learn some new software. So Retro Epic released A Day in the Woods in April this year. It's a sliding puzzle game. You've got to get Little Red Riding Hood all the way to Granny's house at 60 levels. Uh, we're also working on a game called Ginger, which is a memory matching game. It's going to be released early next year. But uh, we solved the problem of memory matching games. As you know, normally they get easier as you match more tiles. But now we have a cat interfering with the game. So you've got to really watch out for what he's going to do, swap tiles and all of that. So then we work, and we're also working with every single soldier to bring out the sequel to Vietnam 65, which will be Afghanistan 11. We're building a whole bunch of campaigns. Uh, we've got the skirmish mode, we're upgrading the art, we're doing a whole bunch of work. It's going to be a super game early next year as well. This is Ballerina Drones, or just BAD for short, we like the name. Ballerina Drones is inspired by Descent. So it's a six degrees of freedom, first person shooter combat game. All in arenas for now. Man, is it exciting to have homegrown games here? Don't you wish you made your own video games? Let us know on Facebook and on Twitter what your favorite game at Rage was and what kind of game that you would make. Use the hashtag HN9 so that we can follow what is happening. I'm gonna get back to this, guys.